Like you almost respect the truck a little bit more. Like this truck has probably seen more than I have in my life, dude. You know. What I mean? So I am in my next tow pig. This thing is not the prettiest thing in the world. She's got some pretty high miles, but it is yet again another 6.0 Chevy. I was gonna get an old one, but this deal popped off and I was like, fucking hell with it, you know what I mean? I was like, I'll just go get it. I don't know how long the truck will last. Um, I basically need the thing to last for like a day in order for me to pay it off because I did not pay very much for this truck. Turn left um, onto the I-295 And the guy gave me Southfield. five spare tires with it, and it's got a back rack on it, um, and it's got the cats in it, so those are worth some money. So, like, even if the thing was to grenade right now, we'd be all right. Um, the price was too good to pass up, because, like I said, even if I was to just sell the parts off it right now, I'd have it paid off, so I'm not worried. But I'm going to try to take care of it, just let it tow some stuff, not beat it. I'm just going to take care of the truck, give it the fluids it needs. Never going to see that gas pedal go to the floor ever in this truck. Um... She's really rough, guys. Like, this is the roughest vehicle I think I've ever bought. But it's already got high miles, and I want to, like, I want to reach half a million miles in this truck. It doesn't have over 400,000 right now. It does not have over 400,000 miles. But it would be really cool to, like, have it reach that many miles, you know? So, driving back now, I'll probably do a little bit to clean it up. I got to, like, clean it, but it's... She's not a show truck, and again, it's just for a yard, like, around the town. I'm not towing a to Florida with this thing or anything. Um, it's just for around town, but, yeah, we got something else, just because I need something right now to move stuff. It's, it's not been good. All right, guys, so this thing's pretty rough. It's really rough, but um, it's going to make me some money, and like I said, the parts on it alone, I'm already going to be getting rid of some of the stuff that is on it, and that's going to make me the money back I paid for, because this thing was, like, really cheap so i gotta fix the exhaust because it one of the hangers broke so it's hitting the side um this thing dude this is a survivor this truck is like a 2003 i think single cab long bed with uh two or er, 380 000 miles on it all original everything the motor runs like i can't believe how quiet the motor is like the motor runs so good it's silent dude. it sounds like it's got 60 000 miles on it um, but a little background history. I wanted a tow pig here, and I'm I, I'm gonna call it the tow cow. You'll see why in a second. Um, the truck was rolled <laughs> by someone before me and before the previous guy. Someone rolled the thing on its roof, and the guy was like, "Fuck it," and he pulled the top back up, fixed it, put all the like a windshield in it and the rear window, and. Uh, now we just have this absolute weapon of a truck that is ready to tow some damn vehicles. Look at that. <laughs> so like I said, thing is rough as shit. The other side only gets worse. Um, bumpers damaged. I can try to straighten it out if I care enough, which I don't. Um, rockers and cab corners are gone. Bed's a different color, all dented to crap. Hood's rusty underneath and dented on this side. All this is dented, came with a roof rack. Came with the tires on it and a bunch of tires in the bed. Um, clearly was rolled <laughs> horribly. It doesn't leak though. I don't know how. Um, came with a bunch of like hammers and shovels and crap in the bed. Weird aftermarket bumper. Um, some tail lights. A nice brand new Reese tow hitch. Um, and this hanger right here is the one that's dangling. So I'm gonna fix that when I get back. Um, so yeah, dude, this thing's really rough, but like I said, it basically, as it sits, doesn't really owe me any money, and um, that was kind of the plan. Interior is pretty shot, too. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's, I don't know, it's not ideal. For anybody that don't believe the mileage, there she is, dude, this thing is a survivor. Tired girl, but, so it runs like a champ. Original stereo. Pretty comfy in here. The heat works, but I think it only works on, yeah, five. <laughs> so the blower motor resistor is gone like every Chevy ever. Came with a friggin' brake assist thing and uh, manual options. And yeah, it's frickin' two wheel drive. Um, so basically the plan with this truck, 
I could have gone out. I lost like five grand with my last truck. I could have gone out. I could have spent a couple grand to get something else that could leave me in the same situation. Or I could spend like enough to buy a cheap go-kart and get something that was going to not leave me. You know what I mean? And it's like, even if this truck breaks in a week, it doesn't owe me anything. Um, so that's kind of what my plan was. I want to get something that wouldn't owe me anything if I was in the same situation, something just tired, old, cheap. And this thing was really cheap. Um, so basically the guy that had it before me, he loves these trucks. He had another one before this with 600,000 miles on it. Um, I'm gonna do an oil change and a tranny flush on it and just baby the damn thing and um, kind of just do the work that it needs to do. And that's about it. Um, we'll see how it goes. He loves these trucks. He had another one he was selling, but he wanted four grand for the other one. I had like 300,000 miles on it and it was an extended cab. It was four wheel drive. <laughs> but I don't really care about the four wheel drive because I don't even think I'm gonna be driving this in the winter. And if I do, then I really wouldn't care less. I don't, I never frigging need four wheel drive. There's very minimal times I've actually genuinely needed a four wheel drive in my life. So um, I'll just carry a toe strap if I use it. But yeah, it's a good little truck. Um, it's frigging not a tow pig, it's a tow cow because it's black and white. I'm literally probably not gonna do a damn thing to this truck except clean the inside of it, the front, grease the fittings, WD-40, the doors and tint the windows black that's it i'm not even gonna paint the cab i don't think because i like how it looks i think it's funny and um i also just don't want to put money into the truck I use it here and there like i might just one morning be like all right i gotta go run 20 minutes up the road do this do that literally that's it this thing is just very minimal truck so um yeah that's the new friggin thing it's nothing too crazy but i figured i'd at least show the channel it and so you guys could see what was going on here this thing is seriously never been washed in its life though so i'm gonna at least clean it up so it's like clean in it you know what i mean <laughs> thing is bad um so a little confused i went to go start the pontiac real quick to uh see how the front end felt and it won't start it's just cranking and i did smell fuel the other day so something's not right Okay, never mind. I just tried for like five seconds and it would not start, but then the second I turned the camera on, the thing was going. Really don't understand what that was. What the heck? Well, the front end feels tight, but now I'm just really concerned. I don't know why it didn't start a second ago. I have not put fuel in it yet since I got it, so maybe it's just the old gas still settling, it's not liking it. So, I'll put some gas in the damn thing soon. Yo. Got the windows tinted on the damn thing. It's nice and dark in here now. I'm gonna give it a quick little cleaning. Nothing crazy, but something. Friggin' thing starts like it's got 60,000 miles on it. Love this damn truck. So, Pontiac front end still isn't staying tight. <laughs> um, it stayed tight at first, but then you do like literally anything and it loosens and it moves itself out. Um, it seems to just be comfortable out where it is. Like that's where it just sits comfortably. So I think that I'm just going to tighten it where it is so that there's not really much strain outwards. Like the tires alignment, like the camber is going to be a little bit off, but at least I can set the thing so it stays strong in place. And um, then I can kind of deal with the tires frigging facing inward and outwards and crap and just get everything all happy in the front and tight at least. I, the front tires usually never... They never usually stay straight for that long anyways. I've never seen that car holding hold alignment for more than like a month and that's like pushing it. So I just kind of gave up on alignments in general on the thing. And like I said, it's not gonna be a daily car. It's gonna be kind of a, a drift wagon. So it will be towed everywhere primarily and then you know slid around. And so front tires should last quite a while. And again, even when they don't, I think they're like 120 bucks a piece for the front tire. So it's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, I parked a Pontiac, 
square body was feeling cold and didn't want to run, so I'm in the 6 for now, just because I, I don't want to do anything with anything with this morning, so. Um, and I tried to move the Honda, because I was going to try to put it on my dolly and move it out of the way, because it's I don't want it in my yard right now, since I'm not doing anything with it. And the tires rub too much to even put it on the dolly, it won't move. <laughs> and I even thought about lifting the front end of it, putting the dolly under the front end, and then going so that the front tires didn't have to rotate, but the rears rub. So it's pretty much sitting there until I go to um, put the lift on it or spacers or something. If I put spacers on it, I think that they're going to rub really hard on the wheel wells. And if I put the lift kit on it, I don't think they're going to be out far enough. So I think I just have to do both before it will actually move comfortably. Um, or I could just take off the brake calipers and put the wheels on backwards. <laughs> I thought about that, but I still have to lift it then because then they're sitting out of the wheel well and they're going to hit on the like metal of the car. So I don't know, but that's sitting in my driveway. Pontiac's back out of my way and 6.0 is in my driveway for now.